Nakakalungkot na balita. Personal na pinalam sa publiko ng TV host actress na si Chris Aquino na malala na ang kalagayan niya at anumang oras ay maaring huminto ang tibok ng kanyang puso. Ito ang malungkot na inanonsyo ni Chris sa Fast Talk with Boy Abunda ngayong Miyerkules, February 14, 2024. Nang makapanayam siya via Zoom ng host at matalik na kaibigang si Boy Abunda. Kasalukuyang nasa Orange Country, California si Chris. Ang muling pagharap ni Chris sa kamera ay kasabay ng pagdiriwang ng kanyang 53rd birthday ngayong Valentine's Day. Ayon kay Chris, marami siyang tagahanga at mga kaibigang patuloy na nagdarasal para sa kanya. Kaya nais nitong siya mismo ang magsabi ng kasalukuyan niyang kondisyon. Kapansin-pansing mas pumayat ang pangangatawan ngayon ni Chris. Pagbabahagi niya tungkol sa kanyang kasalukuyang kondisyon, Unfortunately, meron akong panglima na autoimmune condition. Karagdagan daw ito sa mga dati na niyang autoimmune conditions. Narito ang buong usapan ni na Chris Aquino at Boy Abunda. Live mula po sa Los Angeles, California, kasama po natin ang ating kaibigan, ang ating kapatid, uh, Miss Chris Aquino. Chrissy, hi! Magandang hapon hi, dito, boy, magandang umaga dyan. I love you too. Happy Valentine's, happy birthday. Yes, actually, um... It's almost one in the morning here. Ngayon palang nagsisimula talaga birthday ko dito. That's right. And, um, hello sa lahat po ng mga kapuso. Magandang magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Chrissy, maraming maraming salamat. Uh, bago ang lahat sa inyong tiwala, sa inyong pagmamahal. Pero ang ating kwentuhan umpisa natin dito, February 8th, uh, on yes. what would have been uh, uh, President Noy's uh, 64th birthday, si Alvin, uh, who has been your assistant for more than 20 years, ay uh, yes. uh, sinabihan ka that Dr. John uh, uh, Belperio, I urgently yes. needed to discuss the results, uh, the alarming results of your blood panel. Dito tayo mag yes. Ano ang kwento? We kasi? Could, okay, kasi nung, um, three weeks ago, I had my regular blood, blood panel. Parang ang ginagawa dun is, I, I don't call it a blood panel, sinasabi ko na blood donation ang ginagawa kasi dami ng kinukuhan dugo sa akin each time. Boy, um, hindi maganda yung three weeks before. And, um, he, Dr. John Belperio, who is um, a physician in UCLA, and he actually does very complicated surgeries. Gumagawa siya ng mga lung transplant because may tama na yung lung ko from my autoimmune illness na Serge Strauss. That was because uh, may comorbidity na ako, tapos tinamaan ako ng COVID while in Houston when we first arrived here. Shabaling lead physician ko together with a rheumatologist, si Dr. Khan. They're both from UCLA. So, what was alarming was that sobrang bumagsak yung hemoglobin ko. That's part of our um, yung CBC panel natin. I'm trying not to go to medical, but yung hemoglobin kasi is very important dahil yun ang medala ng oxygen dun sa ating mga red blood cells. I fell to below 9. It was the first time na nag 8.7 ako. In other words, kung nasa Pilipinas ako, binibigyan na sana ako ng blood transfusion. And when you have autoimmune, ang tinitingnan mo dun, yung inflammatory panels. That means kung ano yung mga namamaga sa loob namin. Boy, nagdoble that first time. And he was so worried because when you have Serge Strauss, yung blood vessels natin, yun yung tinatamaan. They become inflamed. So nahihirapan yung dugo na dumaloy sa katawan mo. So uh, nung he asked for another blood panel after two weeks kasi Tinaas muna yung methotrexate dose ko. Methotrexate is a form of chemotherapy medicine. Chrissy, excuse me, Chrissy. Uh, we lost you. Uh, we, we, we lost the video. Saan? Which part? No, no. Um, and, uh, we have problems with the video. We'll just try to fix it. Uh, but we, we are still on air. We're still on air. But okay. you heard my voice? Yes, we can hear your voice. Sige, pwede mong okay. ituloy, Chrissy. Uh, we can hear you. Yeah. Go ahead. Kasi yung, um, right now, um, nakar- meron akong chemotherapy, which is an immunosuppressant, that's methotrexate. A lot of Filipinos would know kung anong pinag-uusapan ko. And then I am also taking Dupixin. Isang problema yan because that is not readily available sa Pilipinas. W- wala siya. They, they have no FDA. Wala pa silang, hindi man sila nag apply And unfortunately for me, that's also not available in Singapore. Bumalik ako boy dun sa inumpisahan sa Houston. That's Nucala, N-U-C-A-L-A. L-A, That's right. the brand. Yeah. Um, and unfortunately also, 
he sorry sinisipon ako si Alvin na pansin I apologize um na, na pans yung Nukala is available in Singapore pero wala pa siyang FDA na kahit man lang nag-apply wala sila sa Pilipinas okay so uh, so right now two of the three medicines I'm on hindi available sa Pilipinas that picture that you're showing right now boy okay. um yung, yung magang magayang sa mukha ko at marami akong rashes I sent that to you because unfortunately meron akong panglima na autoimmune condition na naghehelo ngayon if you'll allow me pa- pangangalanan natin I'll start with um, October of 2018 na diagnosed ako with autoimmune thyroiditis and yung chronic spontaneous urticaria yung yon you're familiar with because nakikita mo na mm-hmm. minsan papasok ako na punong puno ng pantal yung buong katawan and meron na kung mga after that malalaki mga pasa so that was um, something I went through and it was being treated already no 2022 uh, via Zolaire another biological megamot but then it was in April of 2022 na lumala and na diagnose yung Serge Strauss yun ngayon yung pinaka-kontrabida sa buhay ko. Because, Itong Serge Strauss, okay. Yes, um, another name for it, if they will Google, it's EGPA. Pero pinadali ko na lang dahil ang hirap i-memorize ng buong EGPA, what it stands for. Ang problema, boy, is that it was diagnosed nung nasa phase 3 na ako. And that's the last phase. That Chrissy, means na, sandali, pakiulit lang. Ano yung panglimang autoimmune na sinasabi mo? na uh, na discover uh, nila ngayon nung nung nakita if you can see yung that's a butterfly rash okay. that, yung pinakita niyo yung litrato kanina mm-hmm. ayo pang bigyan ng direct classification ng mga doktor but it's a toss up boy um because of the physical manifestations ang ibig sabihin nito yung mga pinapakita ng katawan ko it and because i have Uh, very low hemoglobin. Mm-hmm. I have fluctuating blood pressure. Nagsisimula na yung hindi pinakita ko sa iyo pero I asked na wag mo na i-share dahil okay. medyo graphic talaga yung pamamaga ng mga tuhod ko at yung mga buto-buto na naglalabasan. Um, it's right now they're classifying it as an autoimmune mixed connective tissue disease. Falling under that boy is either SLE loop or lupus na mas kilala or it could be rheumatoid arthritis. Okay. Pero babalikan ko, hindi natin nabanggit na dung nasa Houston ako habang hindi pa gumagaling from COVID because I was a long haul patient. Um it was I had it for more than three and a half weeks with all the symptoms. Ang nangyari was I got a fourth diagnosis. Meron ako ng Crest syndrome. It's um, the other word for that, or the other term is diffuse scleroderma, and okay. nakakatakot yon boy, kasi ang inaatake naman nun yung ating lungs. Um, mm. Pwede kang magkaroon ng la pagkatapos ng episode nato, marami ng pwedeng maging doctor sa Pilipinas. Mm. You can get pulmonary hypertension from that, meaning na ang hypertension pala hindi lang sa puso, pwede ring mangyare sa ating mga sa It's my right lung boy na nung nag gumawa kami ng chest, buong chest and up to the stomach na CT scan, nakita nila na meron na akong maliliit na nodules at tama. Meron mga parang kung ito yung lungs ko, parang may mga scratch marks kang makikita. Okay. Parang may mga sugat na dahil nga hirap na hirap na yung right lung dahil until now, part of Serge Strauss is that you have this persistent dry cough at nagkaroon ako ng adult onset meaning may na matanda na ako ngayon ako nagkaroon ng asthma okay. and right right now na nag-uusap tayo dahil okay. binigyan ako ni Alvin at Clinex okay. nag sinusitis na ako okay. bigla siyang nagsimula Chrissy uh, itong lahat na nangyayari uh, sa iyong katawan paano naapektuhan ang puso in a language that uh, maiintindihan namin kumusta ang lagay ng iyong puso okay um ang nangyari kasi is that yung ano ko um yung our heart diba is surrounded by muscles para maprotektahan yung puso. Yung muscles na yon that are surrounding my heart, magang-maga sila. Parang boy, um, I like it na para mas maintindihan ng mga tao, kung naglalaro ka ng sports, dahil mga Pilipino tayo, basketball. Kung natapilok ka habang naglalaro o bes- nanipa sa'yo, nahulog ka, normally, you pray that it's not a fracture, it's just a sprain. 
Pero kung yung sprain na yon nangyari sa iyo, anong mangyayari? Mamamaga ng todo yung sa labas. Yung sa akin, yung pamamaga, hindi lang sa labas ng puso, kundi dun sa middle layer. And the problem there is, my heart has to work. Kung, kung yung sa iyo, normal na kailangan siya tumibok para makahinga ka, makagalaw ka, gumawa ka ng mga normal activities. Tapos yung heart rate mo would be for a normal person in the 70 to probably 90 range. Ako boy, maglakad lang ako papunta ng, ng banyo or mag-attempt ako dahil sinusubukan ko talagang magdagdag ng timbang. Biglang pag tinest na ako because I have a cardiac monitor dito sa bahay, biglang ang heart rate ko, 120. May point na umabot na dahil nagtagal ako, na-enjoy ko yung bathtub, tapos nag- Ano, nung nagbanlaw ako, it was 146. Chrissy, gaano yeah. kadelikado ito? I could have a stroke at any time. I could have... Kasi um, I have to relate this because of genetics. Ang lolo ko sa side ng dad ko, yung original na Benito S. Aquino, he was 55 years old. When he, have, when he had a massive heart attack and cardiac arrest, he died in my dad's arms. And ang um, dad ko at that time was only 15 years old. Right. And he, that's only two years older than me. And uh, the reason nakapunta kami sa Boston dati, my dad had his heart attack. At 47. At 40, 47 years old. And uh, not many people know, but before Noy died, he needed an angioplasty that was exactly five weeks bago siya namatay. So sa side ng dad ko, matindi yung sakit ng pagkakaroon ng cardiovascular diseases. So genetics diseases dito, and, Chrissy, uh, medyo plays a role, di ba? I would have been okay, boy, kung hindi ako nagkaroon ng autoimmune. Okay, I, but I, I, I you do that. remember yeah. na we were still doing our nightly talk show. I had a, a big scare because sunod-sunod yung shooting and um, I I remember hindi ako umabot sa show natin dahil nagsuka ako na nagsuka. Tapos I had to be brought to the ER of, at the time, Medical City. And I know that this was the year 2015, ghost month, unfortunately. Ang um, dumating ako sa Medical City, ang BP ko was 170 over 110. Umabot ito ng 200 over 120. So at that time, I was only 44. So meron na talaga akong I remember risk. that, Chrissy. Yes, I so, remember that. But it was fine already because I was treated for this in San Francisco in December of 2016. So I was fine. Nung panahon na yon. It was only the problem na naman after COVID. Okay, Chrissy, we have seven minutes left. I just have a couple of okay. questions uh, para sa ating mga kababayan. The next six months are crucial. Ma, sa, yes. In the quickest way possible, uh, ano ang mangyayari sa susunod na anim na buwan? Okay, um... Ngayon ako hihingi talaga. I'm sorry na parang ang kapal na mukha ko dahil ang tagal nyo na akong pinagdarasal but I really need it now because on Monday, papasok ako sa ospital at may susubukan kaming biological na gamot. This is my chance but to save my heart because kung hindi ito tumalaboy, I stand a very strong chance of having cardiac arrest. As in, pwedeng hit my sleep or kung ano man ang ginagawa ko, pwedeng tumigil na lang yung pagtibok ng puso. So, um, may gamot na susubukan, but there's a very big risk involved with that medicine because hindi binibigay ang gamot na to na hindi ka binibigan muna ng steroids. You need it para hindi ka magkaroon ng okay. anaphylactic shock. So, on Monday, magbe-baby dose muna ako, titingnan nila kung kakayanin ko. Kung kakayanin ko, bibigyan ako ng pangalawang dose, but this will go on for, I will need a total of four doses of this medication. Okay, Chrissy? Hindi predictable. Correct. So, boy, boy, I hate to say it, but you know, I've always been very, very upfront and honest at hinarap ko na to because alam ko na bawat araw, especially now, birthday ko pa, pahiram na lang to ng Diyos. Binigyan ako ng bonus. So, whatever days are left, kung ano man ang natitira, it's, it's a blessing. But, I really want to stay alive. I mean, sino ba naman ang sasabihin na handa na akong mamatay? I don't think any of us can say that because Bim is only 16. I made the promise to him na until he becomes an adult, I will really do everything. Lahat gagawin ko kasi 
hindi naman sikreto sa mga tao that ang kuya niya falls under the autism spectrum. Ako mismo, ako lang ang nagpalaki dun sa dalawa. Kailangan pa nila ako. But on the flip side of that, after Monday, wala na akong immunity. Pwede na akong dapuan ng kahit anong sakit at wala akong panlaban dun. That's why I want to take this opportunity, boy, na magpasalamat sa'yo because nangako ka sa akin, kagaya ng ilan sa mga pinakamalapit na kaibigan ko at yung mga kapatid kong babae, nangako sila na kung ano man ang mangyayari. Pero na kung dalawang kaibigan na lilipad dito para samahan yung two boys. And you also promised me, sorry dun sa show mo, pero you said na kung mal- may bal- mabalitaan ka, tawag na ka ni Alvin, sasakay ka kaagad ng aeroplano to be here with me. I love you so much and I'm entrusting them with you because the two will actually be going home by the first week of, in two weeks. Why did I decide on this? Because naawa ako dun sa dalawang bata kasi ako, makukulong na ako sa bahay. Puputa na lang ako at lalabas ako para sa makita yung mga doktor. Chrissy, I, mm-hmm. go ahead. Yes. No, no go ahead, boy. No, mabilis na lamang kasi ito ang tanong ng uh, ma- maraming tao. Bakit ang hirap gumaling ni Chris Aquino? You have the best doctors, you have the meds there. Uh, b- bakit ang hirap-hirap uh, pagalingin itong mga sakit na sinasabi? Just very quick, uh, Chris, we have two minutes. Okay. Pinakamabilis na sagot, tatlong pages, yung laman ng binibigay sa mga doktor na ito yung mabawal na gamot kay Chris. Boy, pati, pwede pangalanan na yung brand para maalaman na lang ng mga tao sa Pilipinas. As simple as Biogesic, as simple as Ponstan, Advil, yung mga fever reducers, lahat yan allergic ako. Lahat ng gamot na halos lahat ng antibiotics, allergic ako. Yung mga steroids na binanggit ko, lahat yan may side effects sa akin na meron akong pinagbabayaran. Mabibilang mo siguro sa sampung dalire kung ilan lang ang pwede kong gamot na pwedeng itake. And apart from that, gumawa sila ng total blood panel para malaman ko anong mga allergies ko. Boy, ultimo um, damo grass. Okay. okay. Allergic ako. At ultimo yung ano, butel ng um alikabok. I'm pag nahihining ako yan o, at hindi naka-purify yung hangin, eh, hindi po ito kaartihan totoo. Naninikip na, nag-asthma attack na. I understand, Chris. Oo. Oh, oh. I, I I get your point. Uh, ang this... daming hindi pwedeng Correct. gamitin sa akin. Right. Pa, kumbaga, ito na lang. Papasok ka sa gera ang makalaban mo, lahat naka-arbalite, lahat sila may mga assault rifle. Ikaw? Ikaw binigyan ka ng butter knife or okay. binigyan ka ng isang tinidor. Okay. Yun lang ang panlaban. Okay. Pero, buhay ako ngayon and alam ko dahil tiwala ako sa dasal na kakayanin pa to because ay, ito lang yung sinabi ko sa ate ko na ate, if something happens to me, it will show people na prayers hindi pinapakinta ng Diyos sa mga dasal ng napakaraming tao. Kaya, Chrissy, talking about dasal tapa- and ate, uh, that is my last question. Ano ang dasal mo? To close this conversation, ano ang dasal mo, Chrissy, ngayon? I just want to thank God. Gusto ko magpasalamat because people I do not know, people na have never met me, yung mga hindi ko kailala, everywhere, boy. Kanina kasi may nag-deliver ng pagkain dito. I, I was asleep, pero may dala sila ng mga prayer booklet, La- ang laki ng community dito sa LA, and I-, I barely go out, but when my sons are out, they're recognized, and lahat, wala akong na-encounter na hindi nagsabi sa mga anak ko, sa mga kapatid ko, sa mga taong alam na kaibigan ko sila, na pinagdarasal nila, at sinasabi nila, kailangan siyang gumaling, kasi meron pa kaming hinihintay galing sa kanya. Gusto pa namin siyang mapanood. I cannot promise you that. I can't, kasi ang dami nang hindi ko kayang gawin. Pero ito po ang pangako ko sa inyo. Hindi ko kayo bibiguin dahil sumuko ako. Hin- wala sa pananaw ko sa buhay na pwedeng sumuko. Kailangan lumaban. Hindi ko ipapahiya ang sarili ko sa inyo dahil binigyan niyo ako ng pinakamagandang regalo. Yung pagmamahal niyo at pagsuporta niyo at yung pagdarasal niyo. Kasi wala naman akong nagawa para sa inyo. Pero kayo, sobra yung binibigay niyo sa akin na lakas because I know na you're praying for me and that's the biggest gift anyone can give. Okay. Can I just say, boy, para sa mga kapatid ko, I miss them so much. I love them so much but it's so hard. And um, to all my friends also who are there, sa lahat ng mga gumawa ng paraan just last week, nandito si Dingdong Avanzado yung aking inaanak na 
nag-spend talaga ng apat na oras para makipagkwentuhan sa akin. Malalaman mo ko sino talaga yung matutuo mong kaibigan. Dahil talaga gagawa at gagawa sila ng paraan. I want to say thank you also to you for making this happen. Thank you to Mr. Duavit and Miss Annette and everybody in GMA. Dahil kayo ang nagbigay sa akin ng venue para ma-explain sa mga tao kung anong nangyayari. And also to our friend, um, Miss Jessica Soho, kasi boy, alam mo naman na sa kanya nakapangako yung interview na to, pero nung nalaman niya na sa'yo ko binigay, wala siya talagang pag-aalimlangan. Dahil alam niya na you are like a brother to me. Maraming salamat, Chrissy. Eh. Maraming May I just maraming say also, thank you very, very much. Congratulations sa bago mong kontrata. Kasi siguro mag-share ka na sa mga medical bills ko. <laughs> <laughs> Maraming salamat. I, no, because, happy Valentine's and happy birthday, don't, Chrissy. Don't laugh. That's your gift. Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah, I saw the contract signing. Kaya pwede ka ba? Sa'yo na ako mag-mumission. Okay. At kasi nangako ako, Viel just messaged me. Would you believe my sister Viel said, I hope may nag-ayos sa'yo. I hope base kang okay dahil ayoko na kaawaan ka ng mga tao at ayoko matakot sila na ililibing ka na. Okay. No, I refuse to die. Okay. okay. Uh, we hear you, Chrissy. And, Yeah. Yes, talaga. I love it because ang ang next ano ko, my my next chapter is to become a stage mother. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Mangyayari yan. But that's for another yes. interview. Maraming maraming okay. salamat, Chrissy. I love you, boy. I love you I so love much. You. Happy birthday, Sa happy Valentine. Sa kapuso, maraming maraming salamat. <laughs> maraming, maraming happy, maraming salamat. Happy, happy Valentine's Day and I'm 53 now. I want to still be here when I'm 63. You will. Maraming okay. salamat. I love- I love you, boy. I love bye you. Bye, everybody. Salamat. Bye-bye, Chrissy. Night tayo, Kapuso. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagpapatuloy sa amin, sa inyong mga tahanan at puso. Uh, stay kind. Make your nanay and tatay proud. Hashtag say thank you. Do one good thing a day and make this world a better place. Goodbye for now and God bless. Chrissy, love you. Salamat. Happy birthday. Bye. Happy Valentine. Make your children proud. Make your children proud, sabi ni Chrissy. Yeah. Maraming maraming salamat. Mag-subscribe at i-click ang notification bell para sa mga susunod na video updates. Maraming salamat po!